गुड मॉर्निंग माई सर सी ए मनमोहन जिंदल आई बी बी आई वैल्यूअर इन सिक्योरिटी एंड फाइनेंशियल एसेट्स एंड एक्स बैंकर लिविंग हेयर इन मुंबई सो टूडे वी शेल डिस्कस ऑन जन समर्थ पोर्टल दिस पोर्टल इज लॉन्च बाई दी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑन सिक्स जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू to access the government schemes for creation value for the investors and the borrowers and to bridge the gap between expectations and anxiety of borrowers to receive the credit with least hassle number of persons uh, feel like that uh, taking a loan is very difficult and they are not taken care of by the financial institutions so to reduce the hassle between the lender and the borrower this portal is launched and to urge and mandate of government agencies to provide the credit and other financial services in a seamless manner so there are number of uh, mandates of the government uh, um, to provide the loan to the poor to the under deserved to the undeserved to uplift their standard of living to be a part of the society so it is a fintech model for accessing credit link schemes of the government of india a small disclaimer this information is shared only for information and knowledge sharing before taking an action kindly go through the relevant circulars guidelines of rbi banks and other financial institutions as the case case may be so in this portal there are 13 schemes divided into 13 credit link government securities government schemes sorry the portal provides the information like details of the scheme eligibility of an applicant and the requirement of application documents it saves the individual from the hassle of finding suitable government schemes for availing finance as well as applying to those schemes beneficiary can digitally check his eligibility in a few simple steps and can apply under eligible schemes and receive approval of sanction digitally in a seamless manner i also discussed the steps to be taken digitally on the portal in the another video you can refer that so what are the four categories education loan having three schemes agri infrastructure loan having three schemes business activity loan having six schemes and livelihood categories having one schemes and that is for the self help groups and individuals are provided to sustain the livelihood of both urban and the rural poor so today we shall discuss on business activity loans it has six schemes number 1 pm saab nidhi scheme this is a scheme to provide a working capital credit to street vendors you have seen that in corona number of uh, street vendors had to shut down their business because there was no persons on the streets so they have hit back the most by the corona they have lost their livelihoods to revive them this scheme is launched it is up to rupees 10000 and is collateral free to be repaid over a period of one year this credit facility has interest subsidy at the rate of 7% for timely repayment if he has paid timely 7% interest subsidy will be given to him so on uh, 
uh, exercise, uh, it comes to that it is a interest free loan. What interest is charged by the bank that is compensated by the subsidy at the rate of 70%. Who are eligible? Street vendors registered with or identified by the urban local bodies. So where they are registered, uh, they have to check his eligibility, they have to check his KYC, they have to be ensure that the loan is not going to the wrong persons. Another is self-employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual sack managers. They are also the hit community in our society and that is not a good uh, sign. They should be uh, bring out uh, of this uh, work and to be indulged in the mainstream of the society. So government is doing best of their efforts. For identifying manual strangers, as per family scheme offers, a cash assistance offer is 40,000. And two years of skill development with a stipend of 3,000 per month. So, manual strangers are identified during survey conducted by state governments and allotted MSID receipt number and their dependents. So, they are particularly issued a MSID receipt number on which base they can take a loan, cash assistance of 40,000 and they can also learn any skill with a stipend of 3,000 per month. Again, is Stand of India. It is a credit facility term loan as well as working capital loan of amount between rupees 10 lakh and rupees 1 crore with tenure of 7 years and a moratorium period of 1.5 years. Date sale ka moratorium diya jata hai taaki wo apne aap ko stand kar sake aur usko us dauran koi installment ka or interest ka bojh na padhe to isliye usko moratorium diya gaya. Who is eligible? SC, ST and women entrepreneurs for greenfield projects. Projects that are being undertaken by beneficiary for the first time. These are called the greenfield projects who are undertaken by the benefits for the first time. So, another is PM Employment Generation Plan. So, bank finance subsidy for setting up new micro-enterprises. You see that micro-enterprise in non-form sector. So here is eligibility is that any individual above 18 years of the age who is a major person, he is eligible to do, to set up any micro enterprises for his livelihood, for his increasing the standard of living. Weaver Mudra Schemes. Financial assistance to handloom weavers in form of a weaver's credit card and term. So it is for the handloom weavers involved in weaving activities. PM Mudra Yojana. Financial assistance up to rupees 10 lakh to small enterprises to help them develop and expand their business. It is a non-corporate, non-agriculture, small and micro enterprises and individuals. It is not available to the corporates. So this I have already discussed might be this is this slide is discussed first and the other is another uh, afterwards. So sorry for that. The details of the schemes are available on the Jan Smarth portal. It is at www.jansmarth.it. So you can log in, have the more details, go through and take the benefit to improve yourself. Thank you very much. Manmohan Jindal.
chartered accountant tax banker and ibbi value kindly subscribe the channel